here there are six symptoms of progression to the advanced stages of kidney disease you should never ignore, especially if you have already been diagnosed with CKD. Some people think that once diagnosed with kidney disease, being concerned with the symptoms is a waste of time. You just have to learn to live with them. Well, they are wrong. There are six symptoms of common complications of CKD that should never be underestimated. Today, we will see what they are. The aim is to begin treatment as soon as possible and to avoid dialysis. There are a few complications that we should always be keeping an eye on because they are both common and dangerous and they need immediate attention. And guys, I've noticed that nobody talks about this issue ever. I watch many videos about the science of CKD on YouTube and let me tell you one thing, they are all always missing the point. Many of the videos I watch where I'll tell you this straight. Aim at scaring the general population about a frightening disease they probably will never have. The result is that many people are scared when they have, for example, back pain and they may think it's a problem with the kidneys. But maybe they have just bad posture. On the other hand, there is little to no information for those with CKD to identify possible problems before they happen. This is going to change. The first entry is a symptom that's often treated with palliative care without taking a deeper look at the root cause. And this is a mistake because it can hide a serious problem. Number six is erectile dysfunction in men. Erectile dysfunction, ED in short, is a common condition for people with kidney disease. Survey found out that almost 70% of men with CKD report ED and the percentage increases as CKD progresses. And while unfortunately today ED can be treated efficiently, there is a reason why ED should never go unnoticed. ED is often a symptom of serious cardiovascular problems. There are several conditions that can cause ED and many of the causes of ED are also causes of heart disease. The same process that creates heart disease may also cause erectile dysfunction only earlier and it's also linked to CKD progression. And this is why you should never underestimate this sign, especially when there is a clear pattern when the symptom gets worse over time because you don't want to let a symptom of heart disease go unnoticed. Question, what symptoms tell you that your heart is in trouble? Most common symptoms of heart disease include shortness of breath, chest discomfort or pain, irregular or unusually faster heartbeats, but also weakness or dizziness, nausea, and sweating. People with heart failure may also experience some of the symptoms usually associated with kidney disease, such as nausea, fatigue, shortness of breath, swelling in ankles and feet, and trouble breathing. If you are noticing these symptoms for the first time, consult your doctor to make sure that your blood pressure and cholesterol levels are under control. Make sure you are protecting your heart and kidneys adequately. Another symptom that's often misunderstood. To help slow down kidney disease and to solve the complications, never ignore. Number five, cold hands and feet. While feeling cold during the winter season is perfectly normal, having hands and feet that are always cold, even when others are warm, may be a symptom of anemia. Anemia, which gets more common when kidney disease progresses, is also very dangerous for the kidneys. Study found out that more than 50% of patients in stage 4 of CKD have anemia. So, if you start to see these or other symptoms of anemia, don't let them go unnoticed. Now, the problem is that anemia is both caused by kidney disease and it's also known to damage the kidneys. It's a vicious circle. And not many people know this, including doctors, unfortunately, but the sooner you start treating anemia, the better the chances are your kidneys are going to improve. So question, how to tell if you have anemia? In people with chronic kidney disease, symptoms of anemia include weakness and fatigue, headaches, problems with concentration, paleness, dizziness, difficulty breathing, and chest pain, and as I was saying, cold hands and feet. People with anemia have 
poor blood circulation throughout their bodies because they don't have enough red blood cells to provide oxygen to their tissues. This is what causes most of the symptoms. So if you have CKD and have one or more of these symptoms, ask your doctor for a complete blood count or CBC test. Anemia can be treated very effectively and this is a must if your aim is to slow down kidney disease and protect your kidneys. Another symptom of CKD progression you should never ignore is breaking a bone. Okay, this may seem strange at first. If someone has an accident and they end up in the hospital thinking about kidney health is the last of their concern. There is, however, a very important link between bones that are too brittle and rapidly declining kidney health. This is vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D deficiency is actually caused by decreasing kidney function. The kidneys are the organ that convert vitamin D from foods into a form that the body can use. This is why if someone has kidney disease and bones that breaks too often, they should look into a vitamin D deficiency. Question, how to tell if you have low vitamin D levels? A lack of vitamin D may cause fatigue, joint, bone, back and muscle pain, but also hair loss, frequent infections, low mood and depression. Now, if vitamin D levels drop too much and there is a real deficiency, cardiovascular conditions, autoimmune problems, neurological diseases can happen. Now guys, if you have one or more of these symptoms, do a blood test to assess vitamin D levels, even if you are already taking a supplement. As I was saying, low vitamin D may be caused by CKD progression, but that doesn't mean it cannot be treated. Okay, another dangerous sign that many people underestimate and that's linked to a faster decline in kidney function is number three, a swelling in your neck. Having a swelling in your neck, a condition called goiter, is a tell sign of one of the most common complications of CAD. When kidney disease progresses, many things happen in the body. Certain minerals such as phosphorus start to build up. At the same time, the level of other minerals such as calcium start to decline. But the body has a mechanism to balance these minerals when the kidneys cannot. It releases more parathyroid hormone or PTH. This hormone is directly involved in the process of calcium and phosphate homeostasis and it's released in response to lower calcium levels in the blood. And while this is a normal process, in those with CKD, calcium and phosphorus levels are often completely unbalanced. This causes the body to release more and more PTH over time. This is why in CKD, thyroid hormone metabolism is impaired. The problem is that this may cause a serious complication, hypothyroidism. This is not a condition we want to let go untreated. Over time, it can cause many health problems including obesity, infertility, and heart disease. How can you tell if you have hypothyroidism? Common symptoms of hypothyroidism include fatigue, increased sensitivity to cold, constipation, dry skin. In some cases, inexplicable weight gain may happen. Those with an enlarged thyroid may also suffer from hoarseness and may see a swelling in their neck. Now guys, what you must know about thyroid issues is that they can be treated pretty effectively in people with CKD. Actually, there have been recent developments in the treatment of mineral and bone disorder that are key both for thyroid health and to help improving kidney function. And I've talked more in depth about minerals, someone with kidney disease should keep an eye on if they want to improve thyroid health in my recent video up here. Watch it now to know more. There are two more symptoms of CKD progression that we should never underestimate. The next entry is the most painful of the lot. Number two is joint pain. While joint pain is more often caused by forms of arthritis not correlated to kidney problems, for some patients, the cause of painful swollen joints may be a more serious one. There are many substances and scores in the blood that the kidneys are supposed to filter. One of these is called uric acid. When the kidneys don't filter uric acid well enough anymore, it can accumulate, which is a problem because uric acid can crystallize into uric crystals. These painful episodes are called gout flares. Gout flares start suddenly and can last days or weeks. 
When they happen inside the joints, they cause them to become swollen and inflamed. And unfortunately, uric acid can also damage your kidneys. It accelerates the progression of kidney disease. People with gout could be at a higher risk of developing uric acid kidney stones because they have a high level of uric acid being excreted by the kidneys. And you should know that 1 out of 10 people with chronic kidney disease have gout. This is why you should never underestimate joint pain. It may be a symptom. So make sure you have your uric acid levels tested during your next routine checkup. Like many other complications of CKD, uric acid levels can be treated effectively. Now the number one, the most dangerous and serious symptom of CKD progression. This is something that could happen in many patients and that should always be treated immediately. Number one is rapid breathing. Rapid breathing may have several causes but in someone with kidney disease, there is one cause that's more common than anything else. <sighs> there is a medical term for it, Cosmal respirations. These are fast, deep breaths that occur in response to a serious disturbance in the levels of carbon dioxide in blood. This is a serious condition and you may have heard it called metabolic acidosis. In kidney disease and diabetes patients, when the kidneys cannot remove enough acid from the blood, the body may try to compensate by breathing faster. This is an emergency response and it's a serious event that must be treated medically. How can you tell if you have metabolic acidosis? People with metabolic acidosis often have nausea, vomiting, and fatigue. Don't let this happen to you. If you have kidney disease, it's important to keep your CO2 levels under control to avoid a fast CKD progression. There is a test called bicarbonate test that's used to do just that. And there is also a supplement that can be used to avoid metabolic acidosis and to slow down kidney disease. For many patients, this is key to avoid dialysis. I'll talk more in depth about this topic in my video up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.